So I was on Brookhaven and I came up with this great idea of opening a fake school, but not just opening a fake school for anybody, but only for bad kids. So make sure to watch till the end because this fake school opened up a lot more problems than I thought it would. All right, everybody, as you can see behind me, we have the official school I have opened. It is called the School of Bad Kids. And guys, yes, I am opening a school today because I have just felt like there have been some bad kids in Brookhaven. And I've talked to the warden of the jail for the kids. They're going to let me have some kids come to this school and I'm going to teach them some manners. So let me kind of show you what's going to be inside. You know, I've literally made this into a custom school. As you guys can see, we have all this stuff. And big shout out to Todd, by the way, for inspiring me on this idea where he made a fake school. Just thought I would take a little twist on it and bring the bad kids in to turn them good. You can see I got some signs right here. Learning is good. Only you can choose to be a bad kid. And then we have our lessons. We have a cafeteria, but none of that's important without the kids. So guys, without further ado, we're going to hop into my school bus and we are going to drive to the prison. And leave a like and subscribe if you think nothing is going to go absolutely wrong. Or like and subscribe if you do think it will. I think it probably would. But we're going to go head over to the prison. As you guys can see, it is huge, bro. No big deal. Just me picking up kids from a prison. I mean, that's, that's going to be great, right? All right, let's just go through this red light, whatever. And ladies and gentlemen, we have officially arrived. Okay, so we are here. I literally, this is so funny. I feel like I'm just like, a, I feel like I'm the bus stop driver, like just waiting for the stop, except we didn't have any regular stop. We stopped at the Brookhaven Correctional Facility. So yeah uh warden i am here to pick up the kids so i've already talked to the warden of the prison and we should be all good oh my gosh guys an alarm is literally going off in the prison right now i think they're releasing them oh my god guys wait kids are coming out oh my god wait dude bad kids have officially pulled up bro we got cody alex and jj and cody just said this little squares our ride lame bro welcome to the school bus for bad kids i know i shouldn't be calling them bad kids but guys we have three juveniles right here and our goal is to make them good through this school and cody said yeah yeah whatever let's dip yo I, why are they in such a rush right now i literally i feel like they should be happy that they're getting at least a second from here like this place sucks let's dip okay all right guys all right fine 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 all right everyone in the bus go hey you are not driving yo jj yo out out of the driver's seat dude no dude no 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 please don't drive away, please. Oh my God, dude. What are you doing, bro? Oh my gosh. These kids are so bad already, bro. Everyone in the dang school bus. We have to head back to school. He said, wait, pull over. Wait, oh, wait, what happened? What happened? Did I hit a rabbit? What happened? Did I hit something? Did I hit a squirrel? Oh dear God. Hey, no, you bamboozler. You bad kid. Stop. No. Oh my gosh, dude. Literally, you guys are horrible already, guys. No, 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 no. Bro, you're literally kidding me. That's it. You're out. All right, everybody. Finally, they let me drive again. I'm just gonna let them know right now. First rule, okay? Y'all can't drive. We didn't even make it to the school yet, and these kids are already making me so annoyed. So honestly, man, I'm praying that this day goes well. My goal is to make them all turn good. So we are officially pulling back up to my plot, guys. The school of bad kids. Well, everybody, we are officially at the school. Come on in, kids. Welcome to the school of bad kids. And he literally said, shut up. Oh my gosh, bro. It's so mad at me dude all right well i'm just gonna explain them right now y'all are here because of one reason you're bad kids and it's time for you guys to change your ways and i'm gonna tell them right now if you become good you won't go back to prison and this guy literally just said not the worst hideout i guess hideout no 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 this is school this we are not hiding out here we are learning and jj said we ain't bad who can we beat up no no one no one is getting beat up he said maybe you no no i'm not getting beat up if you beat me up you're going back to jail i hope you know that okay everybody get seated and I'll prepare the first lesson. Okay, guys, everyone sit down, please. And oh my gosh, no, JJ, the cafeteria isn't open yet. Oh, this was such a bad idea. See, Cody taking a squat first. Like that's that's huge right there. I'm just gonna let him know. Thank you so much, Cody. All right, appreciate that, dude. And Alex said, can we get better chairs? No, this is all Brookhaven props have to offer, sir. We don't, we cannot give you guys anything better. All right, it seems we've prepared our very first lesson. Okay, let's do this thing. Hey, what the, hey, get off my computer. He, he said, yo, email his mom. Tell her she's ugly. Don't you dare email my mom and tell her she's ugly, guys. No, don't do that. And he said, bro, this thing broke. Dude, what did you do to my computer, dude? Are you... 
What are you talking about? It broke. Okay, no, it's working. You're just you're just scaring the crap out of me, Alex. Oh, and I don't want to watch Raccoon TV right now. Okay, everybody sit down immediately. Everybody sit. I'm not going to ask again. I don't want any bad kids. I want this to be a nice lesson. Okay, we have lesson one over here. Cody, come here and sit, buddy, please. Nah, man, I'm good here. Okay, all right, guys. Cody doesn't want to sit down. That's fine by me. This kid said, hey, how much money do you make? Sit down now. Sit, sit down, sit. I'm not answering that. Lesson one, guys. Okay, we're gonna put on the board manners, guys, okay? We are gonna learn about manners today, okay? So I'm gonna ask right now, who can tell me about manners? And comment down below, what are manners? Do you know what manners are? And hopefully you got them. And JJ said, yo, Alex, heck this for real. And wait a minute, Cody just said manners are a way things are done. Wait, good, good job, dude. Nice one, bro. You know what, guys, for him answering that, I'm gonna get him a slice of pizza, bro. For real, no, that was actually fire. He said, for me, Ayo. See, guys, that's all it took, bro. He answered and gave it a right answer. He's literally smiling, guys. It's working. The, the, the school is working. And JJ said, I want some. And so did Alex. You know what, guys? There ain't getting any. He said, give me pizza or I'll beat you. That's not manners. I, I, I'm teaching you about manners. And that is not manners. You want pizza? You better sit down. And as you guys can see, they're sitting front and center now, bro. And Cody literally just said, I want to hear about these manners. Yo, perfect. So when somebody gives you something, what do you say? say all right seriously what do you say and jj is literally calling cody a dork he's saying who cares which guys honestly man i feel like cody's already off to such a good start and alex said nothing it doesn't matter <laughs> and cody said uh thank you yes thank you literally great job cody all right now let's ask jj jj what do you say when you want something it's one word and it starts with p he said put it in the bag or i hurt you no no that's <laughs> That's not it. <laughs> it was please. You say please. JJ just said, yo, I need to go to the bathroom. Can I go? Yeah. It's on the side of the building. It's a porta potty. You can find you'll find it. He said, haha. All right, you know what, guys? Whatever. And wait, Alex said, me too. I need to take a dump. Cody, you're you're not leaving, right? He said, hey, teach. Teach me more about those manners. Of course. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Of course, dude. And I can't help but notice, but JJ in the chat just said, now that we're out, we have to tonight. He said, I hope the warden is doing good, lol. I, I guys, I don't know what I'm reading. I hope the warden is doing well. Here, let me just say, uh, I'm just gonna say, Cody, uh, sit for a second. And also, while I have you here if you want to study up on this here's like a hundred manners right here so just uh read that if you want to learn all right well everybody i'm just gonna simply wait until they get back i have no idea where they went and hopefully just hopefully we can convince those two other kids to turn a new leaf as well all right guys i am making cody take a test i still do not know where the other kids are but cody should be finishing up and his answers very very soon here and i couldn't help but notice the police just pulled up to my school great well that's that's something you never want to see wait cody just tipped and he just dude he just ran into my office as soon as he realized the cops were here okay well i'm just gonna go outside right now and just talk to this police officer hello officer is there a problem he said hello sir guys i'm just trying to teach some bad kids how to be good you know everything's been nice everything was uh, uh, totally allowed etc he said have you seen any kids around uh yeah no uh, i've been teaching three kids here on how to be good you know you don't want to lie guys you want to tell the truth always he said three kids are they three bad kids uh maybe Oh, God, they are bad kids. Maybe why? I talked to the warden and got them a day pass to teach them. He said a day pass? No. Uh, I, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm a little confused right now, officer. I, I really don't understand. He said you didn't talk to the warden. Hey, what? Y yes, I did. I was on the phone with the warden and everything before this video even started. I made sure to prep everything and I talked to him. He said it was a great idea. The officer just said he was found tied up in his office this morning. No, wait, 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 wait. And three kids escaped from the prison this morning oh great wait a minute no those are the kids that are at my school i can't help but notice guys that two of them are literally missing one of them's hiding in here said you're telling me you helped them no no i'm teaching them to be good i promise i didn't break them out at all i swear i don't have time for this you have until sundown to bring those kids back to the prison or you'll be joining them i need to bring them back i mean I, sir please i promise i thought i had full permission from the warden he said good luck loser guys does that mean that i'm gonna get arrested if i don't bring them back okay hold on wait where did cody go cody where are you are you still cody come here i need the truth if you want to be a good kid you better tell me everything that's going down said teach i'm i'm sorry 
He said sorry. You you mean that? Oh my gosh, guys, wait, this is huge improvement levels. Remember, like it says right here, only you can choose to be a bad kid. You can change at any time, you know? And he's literally crying, guys. No, I feel so bad. I'm just gonna say, hey, buddy, it, it's okay. He said, you never talked to the warden. That was JJ. Okay, buddy, if you want to be good, you need to tell me what those two kids are planning. He said, I do. I want to be good. Oh God, Cody, I feel so bad, man. I feel like this is such a good kid. He said, they're gonna frame you for getting them out. Not on my watch. We're gonna get them back to the prison. Will you help me? But he just said, I, I don't know. He he's literally stumbling over his words right now. He said, they're my friends. Well, dude, sometimes you have to do the right thing. Are they even your friends or do you think they are your friends? You know, I know you're being pressured right now, but just do what your heart thinks, okay? Your gut feeling will always tell you something, especially if you think it's bad. You will figure it out. Your gut is smart. And he said, okay, I'll help. Okay, perfect, guys. Cody is officially a good kid now. Like, big shout out to this guy. But now we got to figure out where other kids went. Oh God, here's the plan, buddy. You go out there and tell them to come back in and I'll just shut the doors and have them all locked in until sunset, okay? It's perfect. And then the cop will come and he'll bring all the kids back home. And he said, got it, easy, perfect. All right, Cody, all you gotta do, it's, it's really simple. So I'm literally just gonna make sure I'm gonna go out there right now. I'm just gonna kind of watch from a distance right now. And Cody just said, hey, yo, boys. And wait a minute, the crap, dude, they have money. They, where'd they get that car? They really are bad kids, guys. You know, some bad kids you just cannot fix. Like seriously, at least Cody's a part of it though. He said, time for another lesson. Yeah, exactly. He said, you should come inside. Perfect, Cody. Literally perfect, bro. And Alex just literally said in the chat, he said, bro. And he said, heck nah. Man, dude, these kids are horrible. Come on, Cody. I know you could do this, bro. It's simple. We're just gonna get him in, lock the doors. Sun should be going down soon. And he said, time to roll. You coming with us? Let's go. Guys, why are they approaching Cody like that? They're like closing in on him. Cody? He said, hop in. Wait, yo, Cody. No, no, no. Cody, be careful. Cody, back away. Oh my God, guys. He's literally getting peer pressured. I hope he doesn't go in. He said, now, let's go. Oh my God. No. They're making Cody get in the car. You're kidding me. Cody. No, Cody. Oh my God, guys. This is horrible. You're joking me. I didn't even get to do another lesson. Wherever they're going, we got to follow them in the bus. We need to get those kids back inside here or in the warden's place before the sun goes down. I do not have much time, dude. The clock starts now. Where the crap could they have gone? According to my calculations, they have officially robbed the bank like instantly as soon as i would said that so they just robbed the bank right now we need to get them back in there asap guys this is horrible let me just message in the chat i'm just gonna say cody i know you hear me you know what you need to do guys cody and alex just pulled up in the car and they're they're leaving him they're leaving cody in there to get the blame i gotta go in there guys this is horrible cody let's go come on oh my gosh dude let's go buddy come here all right i got cody guys we gotta get him the crap out of here bro all that smoke in there was just probably infuming his lungs oh my gosh here Come on, get in the bus, buddy. Oh my gosh. Okay, let me turn around real quick. I saw them go this way. Cody just said in the chat, they they left me. No, I know they did, Cody, but don't worry. Oh God, guys, the sun's going down very soon. Wait a minute. Guys, the car, the car from earlier, it's, it's parked over here, dude. Okay, this is actually perfect, guys. They are officially inside there. Oh my God, this is perfect. Okay, Cody, you know what to do. I said, oh yeah. Oh, no, 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 that. No weapons, no weapons. You're a good kid now. Go in and tackle them, bro. You got this, buddy. I'll be ready to close it. All right, guys. I'm just gonna go up right now. I don't think they see me. I'm gonna get ready to close the garage. I gotta get a little bit closer. There we go. Run in, Cody. Tackle them. Distract them. Distract them. Perfect, guys. I'm closing it. They're distracted. Boom. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, uh lock the door. Perfect. Guys, we did it. We got the kids in the bad school. And the sun is up officially setting over the hill. We barely did it, dude. Guys, and the police have showed up. Perfect timing right now. Oh, he's got a nice donut. Let me tell him right now. All three kids are inside. All right, here we go. Just follow me through here, guys. We're gonna open up the garage and they are done for. I just really am so sad about Cody, guys. There they are, JJ and Alex. Y'all are done. Literally caught in 4K. You guys put all this money in ATM over here. You guys literally just got caught so badly. And JJ said, the cops? JJ's here. Alex is here. Where? Wait, where is Cody? Guys, where's... Where's Cody? What the crap? And Alex said, thank you for saving us, mister. Oh, dude. Uh, good, good try, bro. But he already knows everything of what's happened. Guys, the, the good kid. Where did the good kid go? He said, where's the other one? Guys, I don't even know. Literally, where the crap did... Uh, what is this sign right here? Wait, what is this? It says, Dear Poke, if you're reading this, I ran. But I want to be a good kid, but I cannot go back to that prison. I will be becoming a farmer to plant flowers and corn. Thank you for teaching me life. Wait, Cody, what? 
No way, bro. He literally just dipped from the world. He said, if you don't get him right now, you're going to. I think I'm going because to be honest, I want Cody to live a good life. He doesn't deserve to be in that prison. He's a good kid. He's going to go plant flowers and corn. He, that's the best, like the greatest thing I've ever heard. Not everything is flowers and corn, you know? Well, guys, would we call this a success? I would say yes, we do because now we have one less bad kid on the streets and he's going to go live his best life. Like and subscribe if you want me to make more cool businesses.